Pixels and Geeks.com review of Tome of the Sun. This is a free to play RPG strategy game. And actually, it's pretty, it's damn fun. Damn fun. The first thing you're able to do, um, as you can see, what I'm doing right here is a mission. The first thing you can do is actually create your character. You got various classes like warrior class, you have uh, archers, mage, and, and uh, other various options for you to choose and then you're able to customize your character not to the best detail as i would say like a console type of game but it's enough for you to your character to stand out and then from there you go on various missions and assignments just like most of these um mobile games but actually what i do like about this compared to most mobile games is that the missions actually are it's not a one two three type of mission it's actually those type of missions that it's it's pretty long it's lengthy it's lengthy enough like i will say it's not it's not a whole bus ride but it's at least a couple of stops like i played a lot of mobile games that have the same type of premise and usually after you defeat two or three enemies the mission is done and it's over but not, not with this as you can see here i'm having a steady lengthy lengthy battle here and i actually do like the uh premise of it i get to name my character and i also get to compare my character to other people like friends and you have various attacks and great upgrade system which i'm about to show you in, in detail in a second and you have various options. You can attack manual, you can attack semi, you can attack auto, and now the mission's complete. Another great thing about it is I do like the graphics. Uh, it does give you that chibi anime type of feel, which I do like. And I think you want to just pick a quick chest here. Magic stone. And one thing about it you'll find out is that it loads so quickly. So. I'm gonna bring up the stats and you can see how my character ranks. I am the hero class, obviously. Skills, I, am, I have chosen to be the archer. So when I have enough points, as you can see here, I can now, um, I have to get to level 15 to level this uh, girl up, my character Sky. But you have various attacks that you get to, get to learn. So once I get to level 15 and 18, I'm able to upgrade and get more skills. And these are the skills I have here right now. And also you can see that I don't have a title yet. I can have five more friends. You own a title. And you earn titles the more friends you add and more people that you request. You actually get titles and also helps you boost your stats. So there is some benefits to actually having people with you, which I actually do really do enjoy. And next we go to like rewards. They have like a, a social... Uh, net, this is where you add friends, find friends with your account and friend histories. I don't have any friends at the moment. Um, rewards. This is where you get to pick rewards, your ranks, and you know, claim your daily logins and rewards that you get to collect, like points. And you know, it's very, um, very, very well detailed on what they do here. Uh, your trophies, your achievements that you do. You get to collect more points and it connects you to Google Games and everything else, but we're not going to do that at the moment. Um, and that's pretty much the basis overall, and it has a pretty good story to it too. Um, it's definitely a time killer. I did enjoy it, so if I'm going to give this game a, a rating, it has some great gameplay, very addictive. You can play, play for player as well. Um, you got rewards, you got uh, a lot of stuff you can do and shop for, and as you can see here, the starter pack, which is $4.99. Uh, it's pretty cool. You can also chat with people that you, that's in your area. It's a pretty cool game. And one thing it does do, it does hold your hand. So all you have to do is tap on the mission and they automatically bring it in. There's no real searching or anything like that. Now this is how you forge your weapons and, and things like that, which is pretty cool. So I'll show you this. But overall, you guys, I'm going to give Tone the Sun. It's a fun game. It's addictive. Um, let me forge this. It's an addictive game. It's fun. Nice premise to it. So if I'm going to give it a score, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. It's fun. It's cool. I like the graphics. It's self-explanatory. And it's pretty addictive as well. You'll definitely enjoy it. And it's free to play. Um, so definitely. And it has a lot of content, especially for the free 
free things. I mean, if you want like bigger weapons and stuff like that, or like a star effect, like you just so you gotta pay for it. But overall, you guys, the music's good, production's good, nice story as well, and it's a fun, good mobile game to play while you're on a train or bus or wherever you're traveling to or you're trying to kill time. So this is Justin from the Tacos and Geeks.com saying, later days. I'll catch you on the next one.